about Sharp James. Well, this time it's Sharp James' son, and he's being challenged by Terrence Bankston. Terrence, welcome to Chasing News. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. All right, well, thanks for being here. Uh, first off, I drew the comparison. Cory Booker came from the outside, took on Sharp James, eventually became mayor. Are you the next Cory Booker? No, I think I'm probably more closely in terms of that type of profile to our current mayor, Rod Baraka. Um, I'm probably the only other person uh, native. Uh, that's one big difference. I'm a native of the South Board. Born and raised in South Born and raised, born, born and reared, I like to say. But spent the past 15 years, really, this is not just a craft to me, this is my profession. And so um, I'm probably the only person who has invested 15 years in building my own political brand and tell organization. Me, tell me about Newark. I mean, you're running against a machine, very, very difficult. I mean, we saw when Cory Booker put that movie together that literally it comes down sometimes to physical violence and fisticuffs. This is a tough place, uh, but uh, so why do it? Well, again, this is my profession and my craft, and so you don't make it in North by being weak and not having courage. But um, I've worked with all of these different people. It's kind of like family uh, fighting around in, in the mm -hmm. playground, um, in a sense. I do think that for some people it gets out of hand, but that has not been my experience, and I don't expect that in my case. Has Newark changed over time? I mean, I, I saw Ross Baraka at the um, at the Democratic National Convention, and I actually said to him, I said, you remind me, you're like the Rudy Giuliani of uh, Newark. Now, he didn't like that too much, uh -huh. but I said it because he's done some things that you might not expect from a politician who is not only a liberal Democrat, but a black liberal Democrat. And I said, you know, you're doing these community uh, policing and these quality of life sweeps, and you brought in Anthony Ambrose, um, and then you walk the streets and you ask people, they're happy with the police presence. Yeah, I think, he's def I think the police presence has definitely gotten um, better. We can't do uh, more, um, I think, in any area. I think the uh, the public will, can speak better to what they feel about what the mayor is doing or not. I would say that overall, uh, based on what the mayor has stated and things that I've seen myself, it appears that the city is doing better. However, the South Ward of Newark is not. In fact, the South Ward is doing the worst that it ever has done. Um, and so I believe that the mayor- Why do you say that? Do you mean in terms of crime? I mean, I, you know, I went to the South Ward, I went with the cops and I met, I went to Curly's, Curly's shoe shine, got my shoe shine, yes. talked to this, this family that has been running this store for years and years and years. They said it's gotten a lot better. They don't have the drug dealers on the corner, people urinating on their front window. I mean, they said it was bad. You're saying, well, well it's an illusion? I think Mr. Curly um, is probably right. And I think that that's probably one corner. But if you look at Bourbon Street as a whole, mm -hmm. and this is not just on the mayor. The mayor needs a strong partner. You ask why. The mayor doesn't have a strong partner. He has an ineffective relationship with the current council person, and it represents legacy instead of leadership. And so one mayor cannot do it by themselves. They have to have, the South Ward is used to having a strong South Ward uh, partner as a council person for the mayor. We went from having Donald Payne and Sharp James, the father, serving as South Ward council person to the person we have now, which is pretty much an absentee council person. Down the street from uh, part, uh, uh, Mr. Curley's is a whole block maybe 10, 15 stores, which are vandalized and boarded up and vacant, and no one is addressing that. So quality of life in the Southwood does not appear to be a priority. And so that's why I said, it's not just about what crime is doing, but if you want to talk about crime, the Upper Clinton Hill area of the South Ward not only has the highest crime in the ward, but also in the nation. Do you expect to have Cory Booker get involved? Do you expect uh, an endorsement? Do you think he'll get involved at all or no? Well, Cory Booker has gotten involved and he has surprisingly endorsed um, the mayor. When I say surprisingly, not from a political perspective, but the, both the current mayor and the current council person has been personally and professionally critical of our mayor. Uh, of, of, of Senator Booker as mayor for his entire career. And so, but the mayor did say this, that he believes that there is quality leadership in Newark, and he should know that because I was one of his top directors as the director so, that you want. So, Terrence, good luck to you. I 